What up, people? So, with this new update in Anime Last Stand, there is a new spawn on Act 6. You spawn right here all the time. I'm going to show you and explain different ways to AFK this. This is not so much uh, follow everything I do, but more listen to what I'm saying and ways you could uh, do your own tiny task setups with your own team. So you could basically use any character in the game. As long as they have good passives and they're strong and you're able to solo Act 6 alone, you could tiny task it. So I suggest practicing first. First thing we're going to do is turn on the tiny task and press retry. This goes for every step of tiny task. Now, always click multiple times on the retry button. That's very important. Probably the most important thing because if you don't do that, sometimes one or two clicks is not enough. I just click as many times as I can. Always wait a little bit before the wave starts because sometimes it loads slow. So there is a way to AFK with Tatsumaki in 30 seconds. That'd be clicking on the retry. I would put a sticker on your monitor where the retry button is. So you could just click on the retry. Then you go down. You click on Tatsumaki one time. You go over here. And look how it's weird and glitchy. You want to basically click 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 million times. You know why? Because sometimes it doesn't place it down. And if it doesn't place it down, you mess up your tiny task. Now I'm moving the mouse up and I'm clicking on her a bunch of times. You want to do this. And then upgrade her, basically. And then base and then your uh, tiny test cycle's done. You want to do that in under 25 seconds. Retry, click on Tatsume, Tatsumaki once. Click a bunch of times in the spot you want her on. Then click on her a bunch of times. Then click upgrade a bunch of times. And then you could do an under 25 second loop for people who have Avatar Tatsumaki, Overlord Tatsumaki, and... Uh, Glitch Tatsumaki. But those only three, there's only those three passives. You could also do it with, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Metal Knight. But with this new addition, since you have all the floor in front of you, you could essentially try with your own units. If you have, let's say, Garp, maybe try Garp, you know, solo Garp. Who knows? That could work. I'm not sure if it's as effective because his attack is kind of slow, but you know what I mean? Jotaro too, but uh, you're going to have to wait a little to get money before you could do that with Jotaro. But anyways, the most important thing, so if this was a normal tiny task, we're already good, you know, because we're doing it slow, and I could upgrade her, I could do whatever. If she's not strong, sometimes it's not worth upgrading her. And you know what you do? If you have your own units, you literally click on top of the unit, you click on the unit one time, then you click there multiple times. Make sure you click multiple times. I've had it mess up because I didn't click multiple times. Then click on the unit multiple times. Then you could upgrade. Always click multiple times when you upgrade. Now, you could place multiple units like that. Let's say you upgrade the unit to its max. Jotaro, boom. You got him to, I don't know, upgrade four. Now it's the 80k too expensive. You can move on to Saitama. Take click on Saitama. This is just the unit I have right here on my alt. See how it's glitchy? If I click one time, sometimes it places, but sometimes it doesn't. So you always want to click in the same spot you just placed multiple times. Then you move up your mouse just a little, not too much. And then you click on the character itself, assuring that you could upgrade them. Boom, boom, boom. So as you can see, this is also very good for farm units. The reason why I say click off the screen before you click a character is because you want the stuff to despawn. You don't want to see that. See all the area I have now? I could upgrade units. So let's say if I click on her, you could actually farm. I want to put her, I don't know, here. I'm going to put her right here. I'm going to click on her a bunch of times. Click in the spot I want to place her. Click like a maniac. And then you move up. You could click on her through the wall. You just have to know exactly where she is. Now, uh, you could upgrade her now. You know? Boom, boom, boom. Obviously, you got to see what works for you. 
depending on your yen unit you should have the better yen unit that just came out there's the new dude uh, uh yeah there's the new money unit that just came out celestial there's uh strong units ice dude you could use a bunch of unit any unit that has a good passive essentially works in this you could place as many units as you want as many times it does it always does the same formula if you have a good Atachi, click on Atachi, boom, whatever works. I would suggest always placing in the middle. You see how it says cannot place tower here? Just keep placing, just keep clicking in the same spot. Commit. Don't listen to what they tell you. You could do it. And then click up after on Atachi. Make sure you click in the same spot and then separately click up on different spot. What I did like that, that's not good. You want to just stay in one spot, click, then move up, click. And then you could upgrade them. Either way. So now I just want to show you that uh, we spawn in the same spot and this task works. You have to see what works for you, though. I suggest maybe doing a normal run, seeing how many times you have to upgrade certain units, see how many certain units you need to solo it, see how many times you have to upgrade your farm unit. There's multiple ways to do it, but this is just the method to make tiny task always work because there has to be fail safes. So right now I'm just going to sell these units. I'm going to sell him. Click on multiple times. Always sell. Click on multiple times. Sell. Click on multiple times. Sell. So they're not going to be attacking anymore. We're going to lose and we're just going to show you that the way I'm doing it makes it guaranteed that these units are being placed guaranteed that you're able to uh, upgrade them and you could do what you want because you're always going to spawn in the same place also the strat where i say put a sticker on your monitor uh be careful some stickers could ruin your monitor so if you're doing it use a cheap monitor don't want to use like something you're using every day because i can mess it up maybe check online to find out what's safe I don't, i'm sure there's not too much Always wait when it says victory after you win. Always wait like 15 seconds or 10 seconds. I say between 10 and 15 seconds to press uh, stop recording. And then you press repeat because there could be different loading times. So it throws off everything. So you want to have like kind of like a buffer for when you're not doing anything. Anyways, we spawn in the same place. First unit we're going to put down is Tatsumaki, obviously. If you guys have any question. Don't be shy to ask me down below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. But this is one spawn place. For They they made it so you don't spawn in two places no more. I kind of preferred when I spawned a little up there. But this is better for you guys. Because me, I had Tatsumaki. If you guys don't have Tatsumaki, this isn't a problem anymore. So yeah. You could use any unit in the game, just as long as they're strong and they're cheap and you can put them down right away and they get kills. You can get money. You can start investing into other units. You can put your money unit down. You just have to see how you solo. If you're not strong enough to solo, you could always do this in Act 5 instead. You could do it with one unit. You could do it with multiple units. The choice is really yours now. I think it's a really W update what the developers did. I do think that uh, making it easier putting this better spawn is better for the majority of people maybe not mobile as much i would still try it on mobile there is i have a, a video uh, for mobile right here that's just basically the most important thing to take even though it's not the same spawn is how to do it on mobile that's very important that's how i'm using the program so you could do it basically if you spawn in a different place you could still do the same kind of formula either way uh what we're gonna do is we're just seeing right here if we're placing down the units and if they do place down in the same spots with no uh problems then my mission here is accomplished and you can essentially beat the level by following these steps uh we're also trying to do uh marine ford the raid act six i noticed that there was a different spawn though like for marine raid let me know if you want a video on that because i could try but we spawned 
like a little high and a little lower and it really messes up the trajectory a little bit because yeah if you're moving places it's not good you want to always be hitting the same spots to have a successful tiny task the minute you move spots or change your angle it messes up the tiny task I don't really know how to tiny task if the camera angle moves. I think it's kind of cooked if it does move. But if you're always looking the same direction, there is a possibility. There is a way if you find a certain point that you could go to every time. Like the Jotaro video. I also have that video on Jotaro, how to get him with the multiple spawn points. But it could be outdated right now because uh, they changed the way stuff spawns. Let me know if you also want a video of me AFKing every single world. Showing you how to spawn in the last world of every uh, world. Last act, every world. I could do that and see what's up. See what the, the method is. We could try doing... Usually 30 second loops is... Well, always. 30 second loops, you can't move. If you move during a 30 second loop, your recording is cooked. That's why I explained the 30 second loop in the beginning. You know, I find it's the most important. It's the most easiest way to do it. But it could also mess up if you don't do it properly. But as you can see, we put down all our units. We're clicking on the units. We're upgrading them. We're doing everything we, we did before. This is looking good. Obviously, we'd be putting down units that could actually kill these dudes. Tatsumaki could solo by herself, but we'd be upgrading her only. That's if I was just doing this, I'd be only upgrading her. Yeah, we'll show you a video that shows uh, how we used to AFK it. That video is still good because it shows you what characters can beat this round. The enemy health didn't change, just the spawn point. So, if you still have the same units, you can still beat it with the same units you did before. It's probably easier for you guys to do it now. Look at that. He didn't even spawn there. What? That was weird. Oh, I didn't have enough money, probably. So stuff like that you got to watch out for. Obviously. Because if you were doing a tiny test right there and that dude depended, if your life depended on having that unit there, then you're cooked, as you could see. That's why I say, this is a good thing. I'm happy it messed up. Because the fewer units you have, the more successful your tiny test is going to be. The easier inputs, the less inputs you have to put into a tiny task, the more successful runs you're going to get. So it messed up there. That's okay. This shows you guys that even though it worked perfectly fine the first run, you always have to run it again to find out if it works. And sometimes you don't complicate it. I'm putting down one, two, three, four, five units. I'm almost putting everyone down. That's not good. And I wonder why it messed up. But sometimes it just doesn't work because it was weird. Was it because I didn't have enough money? Let me know. But uh, either way, that's the end of the video. Uh, I'll show you guys the videos of the old one. This is Act 6 and uh, Act 6 with one unit. So there you go. Those are, you could use the same kind of loadout I had. Saitama, Jotaro, and Tatsumaki all seen or you could just do one unit tatsumaki anyways i appreciate the support from the recent videos you guys are awesome and let me know if you guys want any other videos for me to do and uh any things you don't anything you don't understand put it in the comments so i could help you out i'll try my best peace